So today, this building behind me, the City Hall, houses the Mayor's Parlour and the Mario Filinson National Art Gallery. And this is where our focus lies today, on Gibraltar's art and its art history. We're going to be featuring some of those treasures that form part of the Gibraltar Government Art Collection. We'll be joined by some interesting guests as well, who have their own fascinating story to tell too. Okay, Gino, so we're coming to Lenny Misud's room. Uh -huh. And she's the only female artist in the gallery. Uh -huh. Obviously, it wasn't as commonplace in those days to have uh, women dedicate themselves to art. Mm -hmm. So, particularly brave, maybe, uh -huh. of Lenny to follow her passion uh -huh. and go against the will of her family, even uh -huh. then, to go and study to the Bellas Artes. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know the, uh, I know the family. It's. Uh... Uh, well, a bit like Bacarissa, the la burguesia, mm. the, 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 the bourgeoisie, you know, so upper middle class. So um, that you have, as you say, a woman wanting to do this and having that passion and drive to uh, live off or try and live off painting speaks volumes. And, and to get the results that she did over so many years and that she became because she was a very Beloved, I mean, she's yeah. one of the ones, Bacarissa was in Seville. But Lenny, Asaguri, Mania and Mario have been living with us and have been part of the, the social community. fabric uh, for years and years and years. Like, it's a bit like, obviously, much more now. Uh, I mean, you know me uh, and you know Paul and you know Christian. And there is that familiarity, but at the same time, the input Mario is the bridge yes. between the previous generation and us. And obviously, Lenny, for example, Lenny uh, taught Bacheva, Jaina, and Wheeler, who are also part of and very important part of the social the fabric of. The moment, of yeah art and uh, the fine arts in, in Gibraltar. For example, I'm watching that one yes. of, the, of the boats and the strokes, the yellow strokes at the back, very colorful, the sense of rhythm. This is something that I like about Lenny, the sense of rhythm. I don't know if you met her, I met her a couple of times because she was kind of part of the family. Uh, she was always like, como un pajarito, no? There was always that nervousness and around a beakiness about her. So there's, uh, I, I find that very touching when I see her energy. rhythm and her <laughs> energy being seen graphically. Oh, because it's necessary. a bit like when you draw, the, those strokes are a bit like the, the cardiogram yeah. that you see like boom, 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 boom. How you are choosing to express yourself, isn't Yeah, yeah, so literally, I mean, if I can get closer, uh, all this uh, stuff round here and there, and especially round there, and the reflection, lot, the sea, round yeah. here. All this is, all this is uh, action, action that has to be yeah. um, done and accomplished and brought together in a statement, and that creates the energy. And one has to say, especially in that one, the electricity that is part of, uh, part of the painting. I think one thing we really have to talk about if we just like look around the gallery mm. is there's so much colour, isn't there? Sí. And vibrancy sí. and light and a lot of, uh, a lot of landscapes and, yeah. and scenes. And a, and a lot of buildings, a lot of yes. buildings. Uh, and this is still part of Gibraltar's art uh, subject matter that uh, a lot of artists paint buildings, Mario, especially with his whole series of um, the, the rooftops. Lorraine Bohaja, for example, paints a lot of Gibraltar. Leslie Gaduso yes. paints a lot of Gibraltar. I don't, <laughs> well, whatever reason, I don't, at least for the moment. No, but it, you know, the sense of the urban spaces are important. And Although perhaps in hmm. that particular wall, um, very few Gibraltar scenes. See, sí. yeah, yeah, because again, she moved around. She went a lot. Or well, she was in Madeira. She went to Madrid. Uh, apparently, she also Portugal mm. and the north of Spain. So 
also a woman that moved around a lot and was obviously very interested in, in her surroundings and how that corresponds with her um, personality and what she did with her personality. And I think we've got to touch upon the, the theatre royal mm. scene that is definitely um, oh, a yeah, integral yeah, yeah, to yeah, one yeah. and one yeah. that's, uh, uh -huh. that obviously captures now a moment in our history which uh, is See. no longer there. Yeah. And it's also interesting because, uh, again, we have all this familiarity with all these structures as well, but um, how maybe in a hundred years' time people will perceive how we are responding to our environment and our social environment, for example. That does not exist anymore. It will only be in the memory. How does that fit into the the mindset of what Gibraltar will be, say, in 150 years' time, because that's the value of culture. The, we create things that stay. We create, above everything, a painting or a sculpture, or even more, architecture is an object. Yeah. And if you take care of it, this will be there for hundreds of years, like we see in the Prado, in the Uffizi, or the National Gallery. And this is the, the link of humanity throughout the ages. And uh, Lenny is very much of her generation. And what I find very touching is the, the palette that we have over there. That's right, it was her a own. recent acquisition. And we mm. are told that that was a palette that um, she used to paint sunsets mm. primarily which were paintings that she gifted to family uh -huh. so this was actually oh. donated to us uh, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. From, <laughs> by a family and that was the story that we, we uh -huh. were told to accompany uh -huh. it because so, it, and it's quite interesting to see the colors totally. that are there because it, that's a reproduction of of you know there, there, there is a the dialogue words. between yeah. okay that was the the surface that were uh, it's a bit like the the uh, el horno, the mm. gamma, the oven. That's where it was cooking, and then the process, isn't it? It, it process, sheds light yeah. on the process yeah, and perhaps yeah. how she uh. liked to mix her colors and uh. and even the the thickness of uh, shows the energy. And, well, and, and, and also, uh, what's important is what we have there is chaos. Mm. Basically, it's chaos. <laughs> it could be uh, a modern abstract. Yeah. Uh, if you put it in, in, in its context, out of context, it could be an abstract. But then, the, and I'm going to borrow a phrase from Gombrich, from that chaos, there is a sense of order. Mm. And this is something that, you know, now that I'm looking at the collection of the government, it's a word that uh, comes to my mind seeing all the work. Maybe it's our fortress mentality that this sense of order is very prevalent, even though we do mad things and here and there. But ultimately, ultimately, there is a certain order. Maybe that's because some people come into the gallery and they, they look around the fine arts um, and they said, well, no, is there a Gibraltarian school of painting? I said, well, no. I don't yeah. think so, but maybe there is, and we're not realizing it because we're too close to the thing but itself. But there's an underlying current, but there is an underlying thing. Field. Difference, difference between what they do in, for example, in La Linea, and you see it. What they do in La Linea, which is just uh, along the way, yeah. or I see this, or Cadiz, is very different to what is being done here because precisely we're a very different mixture, the colors that we mix in our palette mm. are very different to the colors, the social colors yes, that they mix in La Linea, because we have here uh, the Indian community, the Jewish community, uh, Roman Catholic, all, all that is the colors and the, with the finance. That shape well, that. and make see, us our see. history, our heritage, the, the colors currents. in our palette are very, very yeah. different. So maybe that's why and that's why it's very exciting to see who moves where and the yeah. uh, aesthetic options that people are taking up because it's all part of that growth process and becoming who we are and the sense of identity is crucial 
for, for us as a community and as an artistic uh, power. So we know that Lenny actually lived off her art and one of the ways in which she did that was by making postcards mm. and in fact she actually created the original blocks so that would have involved mm. the carving and working mm. with other materials and you know we've got some great examples here. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean uh, it's what we call locally humanita. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no nada. Y claro, totally. I mean looking back maybe at that time there weren't a lot of postcards but for example the, when the Royal Navy used to come in in full force mm. there was a lot of market for buying yes. uh, the sort of uh, memento of the visit that people could take with them. Some and really it, intricate designs if we see that one up mm. to the entrance to, to Main mm. Street mm. and the gates there. No, really see, see. beautiful yeah, and yeah. detailed. Yeah. I'm sure there must be some around in in people's, you know, people who've been in the Navy or in the Army who actually bought this. And it, of course it makes it more personal than a normal postcard. Yes. This is, you see the object from where it came from. Uh, and then the, for the printing of the image. So it makes it more, in a way, more fun than a simple normal photograph. Uh, from what I can see, it's very much what they call wet on wet mm. uh, and layers of moving from the dark all the way up to the lighter color so it's a bit like a cake what you do yes uh, you know like you have the different layers of uh, chocolate uh, strawberry uh, vanilla you know <laughs> up so that the 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 white or the lighter colors are up top so you usually or at least I usually start from a raw amber and then build up the colors and I use wet on wet and it goes very well with me. I sometimes don't have the patience because it's a bit like cooking, you know, mm. you have, but then there are shortcuts and then if it suits you and it holds, that's important because a lot of contemporary art, you know, yes. these experiments and within three or four years, uh, the painting is collapsing and if somebody's bought one of those and spend a lot of money, you don't want it to collapse in your living room. So that has to be taken into account, but and that's something that we monitor closely in the collection and it's important that, it, because it's a, be, a bit like uh, a body. And yeah. this, you go to the health center, how, what's the state of the body, yeah. how are the muscles, you know, the quality of the skin, you know, the general feel of the body to see if any reparations have to be, or, res or restoration has to be done because time is irrevocable. Yeah. So there is that element of mm, decay. Better we try, obviously, temperature fine, light fine, to conserve these uh, statements from past ages as much as as we can. And Gina, just to wrap up, really, I mean, what type of impact would you say has uh, Lenny's art and perhaps her teaching mm. to those uh, who she, you know, directly tutored, mm. has had on the, on the work that we see being produced nowadays by contemporary artists? No, I think, I think the influence is there. Uh, and people, you know, come in and, and look and glean. Mm. Uh, and what's important also is that we establish this dialogue with people that are, or artists that are local, you know, that um, they come from the schools, obviously, to come to this. And of course, it's open, it's free. So just come in and have a look and sit and, and contemplate and take pleasure in, in what you are seeing and, and learn maybe things. Again, I go back to the cooking idea, you know, la, la receta. And what you do, maybe a bit of tweaking here and there and, and make something different and then the chain continues. Thank you very much.